Hey, Matt. Or should I say, Bald Ken? Oh, Beach Ken, what have you gotten us into? Well, everyone keeps talking about this Barbie movie, and I thought, I should go see it. But before I do, I found a Barbie drink. And I think we should go check it out. Well, let's go party, Barbie. All right, let's get it. Well, this must be cocktail Barbie. It definitely looks like it. It's pink. Beautiful. It's very nice looking. You know, I don't want to put Barbie in the corner here, but look at this bar, man. Is this, this place is amazing. This is a pretty happening spot. I've not been here before. Have you been here before? Dude, this is one of my favorite places. Their happy hour starts at 11 o'clock and runs all day. I mean, how could you not love a place that has happy hour all day? Man, any place that limits, that doesn't limit happy to an hour, that's my kind of place, <laughs> for true. sure. That's very true. Man, let's give Barbie a taste. All right. Check out this straw. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's a, I've never seen a heart-shaped straw before. The straw is the garnish here. It's I'm awesome. worried it's gonna like squirt out when I drink it. Let me make sure it's not facing me. Ooh. You know, if Mattel made an edible Barbie, that's exactly what I'd imagine it would taste like. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Is that raspberry in there? Yep. It's raspberry? So tart, but fresh, not too powerful. This is the quintessential Barbie drink, I think. Oh yeah, mix it up a little bit. A little more variety in the taste. It's light, refreshing, but not too sweet and not too boozy. This is this is the beach drink. For sure. Beach drink for Beach Ken. Yeah, I love <laughs> your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Matches, uh, you know, matches the cocktail. Any, uh, any more on uh, the looks, feels? You happy with it? It's pink, what more could you ask for? I know, right? <laughs> if you wanted a Barbie drink, it's gotta be pink. So how did you come up with this recipe? How did I come up with this recipe? Honestly, Beach Ken. Beach Ken inspired it. It's a raspberry margarita with a nice little seltzer float. You can't get better than that. Okay, that's what I'm tasting. Yep, so raspberry margarita with a seltzer float. And it's, you know, it's just refreshing and light. And she works on the patriarchy hey. daily. Yeah, <laughs> she does. I got thrown off a little bit. I thought it was grapefruit at first. Oh yeah. Right, because it's got the pink color to it. Totally, you'd expect yeah. tart. Yeah. She's gotta be sweet, Barbie sweet. For sure. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the perfect drink to uh, have Barbie's name on it. I always try to think of something simple for people to drink. You know, you gotta make something that's gonna please all the people. Yeah. Make all the Barbies happy. I would love to learn how to make this. Could you show us how? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we start with silver tequila. Love me some tequila. Gotta have a little triple set Cointreau in there. This is the citrus we're tasting. And then our specialty fresh raspberry lime puree there. Uh, how do you make that puree? The secret, but I can't tell you that. Okay, so some raspberries and lime juice in a blender, mm -hmm. close enough. <laughs> Now, are there any uh, alternatives here uh, besides raspberry or any... Um, you can make it with any flavor you want. Anything else you, you've added to it to really spice it up? I had a couple of gals get it with vodka and they did it with a flavored vodka and they seemed to enjoy that quite a bit. They did it with a wild berry vodka and so it made it pretty good. I mean, you could. we had gals do it with champagne on top the other day and that actually like was pretty solid too. Kind of, yeah. Made like a raspberry margarita mimosa but like extra. the last ingredient you put in there that was the seltzer float on top and then what was what was that little glitter spritz because barbie likes to shine and sparkle am i gonna have it on my lips you know you you know you heard that lizzo song at the beginning <laughs> you got a sparkle oh well, we're bringing lizzo into it now oh always <laughs> well this is an absolutely beautiful drink i gotta say the straws I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it we'll actually get has we'll get a, shot of a it, heart steak straw in it, it, which is the perfect garnish for this drink. Simple, classy, refreshing. Yeah. Uh, only thing I could think that would, uh, you know, add a little pizzazz to it if you want it, an alternative, maybe some mint or something like that. Throw jalapenos in it and make her a spicy raspberry margarita. Whoa. <laughs> Anybody who likes spicy, it's this guy right here. Oh, same. Wow. I, 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 well, you just blew my mind with that spicy raspberry. Ooh. There's a lot you can do with that. Wow. Uh, so this is the perfect party drink. If somebody's going to have a Barbie party, a pool party, is this a drink that you could batch or does the, the seltzer 
spritz on it, does that make it a little more difficult? You could batch the margarita part for okay. sure. Add your seltzer on top when you're done. So just a pitcher of the, the base. Pour it, a little little spritzer. Throw on a straw and you're good to go. I love it. This is such a fun drink. This is such a fun place here at Black Sheep. Love the happy hour, I love the food. And then hearing the different variety of how we can have this drink is definitely gonna make me wanna come back and try it, those other options. And I just saw the email you sent for the pumpkin spice line of drinks that are coming out. Our September seasonals are really phenomenal. There's a pumpkin spice latte martini, there's an apple crumble drink where we flambe the glass and then it smells like fresh baked apple pie after it's done being made. And then we also did a vanilla chai old fashioned too. So there's some really good choices on there. Vanilla chai old fashioned, we've never thought to combine that. Oh, so good. That sounds like a couple more kick-ass cocktails that we'll have to come back for. Yes, for sure. Well, Steve, yeah. thanks for showing me this drink. It's awesome. Oh, definitely. Great find. I don't know if that one's yours or mine, but I'm going to be ready to watch the Barbie movie. Let's go do it. All right. Party on, Barbie. Party on. <laughs> Ken? Bald Ken? <laughs> <laughs>